we're doing the Fremont uh, Sky Kraken. It's a hazy pale ale. Uh, alcohol is 5.5% uh, by volume. Um, the IBUs aren't listed here or on the site. Uh, they kind of went smart ass with the whole thing. It's kind of an interesting uh, theme there. <laughs> Citra's mosaic. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, another one I can't remember right now. But they don't say how many IBUs are in there. But citrus and mosaics. I mean, that'll lend a fair amount of bitterness. There's going to be um, some grapefruity, citrusy kind of overtones in there, right. and uh, maybe a little pininess. I, I don't know. I get a, I get a little bit of pininess out of mosaics. I you know maybe I'm Ooh, just from the only here, one. You but get the pininess. Yeah. Do you, dude? <laughs> yeah extreme that's yeah, oh man that's a beautiful I love it. so this is a hazy pale ale but i get the feeling it's a little more kind of almost on the ipa level oh yeah hazy's correct Absolutely. real light color it is huh it's almost like a fucking light 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 gold yeah pretty head though Oh, wow. Wow. Jesus. Very citrusy. Yeah. Holy shit. I like bit down on a fucking lemon. I mean, that's more citrusy than the citrus Jesus. IPA we just drank. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Very dry. Yeah. Light, very crisp, fucking and citrusy, dry. but very dry too. Like, god damn. That's, that's really good. Yeah. Light. Very light. How much but alcohol? It's refreshing. Five and a half? Yeah, it's 5.5. Yeah. Oh, man. So easy to drink. Yeah. I mean, you're only talking about as much as a, you know, a hams or a bud almost there. Right? Yeah. That's sharp. And a little bit of bitterness in the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are higher alpha hops that are in there and not a ton of them. God damn. It's like a, it's a different taste too. Not a lot of, not a lot of bitterness <clears throat> at all. No, um, there is. There's... Interesting pale ale. God, it's really interesting. Yeah. I like, again, I'm kind of liking the dryness of it, kind of like that last one well, we just yeah. tried. Well, yeah, yeah. I think it adds to its refreshing character. Yeah. You know what else is interesting just about the flavor of this? I think it's because of the hop presence and flavor it has. Mm -hmm. um, it tastes stronger than it is, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it does. Doesn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Like, it tastes like a bigger, stronger beer. Absolutely. Not that it tastes overly malty or anything, because it's not, really. Right. Just kind of yeasty and clean and crisp and real dry. Real dry. Yeah, very. But, yeah, it's, it's the fucking citrus spike is just, bam. God, you get it. It's, yeah, it's really. And it lingers. It's like a Meyer lemon or a grape. It's grapefruitish. Really, a lot of grapefruit out of it. Oh, yeah. It's good. I can see this going with different, interesting types of. It'd be awesome with anything that had shrimp in it, first of all, because yeah. the richness and the sweetness of the shrimp mm. or the crab or something like that would be really. I'll tell good. you what, fucking Hispanic foods. I think so. I yeah. think it'd be good with that if if it had like uh, some seafood type stuff in it, though. Well, yeah, but I'm talking like the spice, like. Oh yeah. It would complement like chili spice. powder and cumin. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Like yeah, even like peppers, like habaneros and fucking. Some strong or some spice. smoked poblanos or something oh, yeah. like that. That'd be interesting. I, you know, I wonder if this would be good with, uh, you know, we've talked about pale ales before going with sushi and things like that. Yeah. And wheat. Remember that wheat beer we did um, down at the clear cut that one time? We were talking about how it'd be good with sushi. Yep. This would be good with like a smoked salmon skin roll. Yeah. Where you get that kind of smoke flavor out of it a little bit. Oh, but yeah. This is real dry, so it doesn't detract from the fish mm -hmm. at all. It'd be great with sushi. Or the eel. Mm hmm. Eel yeah. Would be good yeah, too. a little. Yeah, absolutely. With a little of that sweet glaze on oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Hmm. Oh, it'd be spectacular with some crab cakes, some real rich crab cakes. Mm hmm. The nice peppercorn <clears throat> aioli or something on the side. Lobster. Yeah, absolutely. I'm seeing it with richer seafood type stuff too. Like oh, I'm, yeah. I'm with you there. Yeah. We're on the same wavelength for sure. It's not that bitter, but that hop flavor would 
would represent real well against some sweeter stuff. Well, like yeah. Some sweet glazed or some teriyaki. Right. What about oh, just, yeah. a, just a nice teriyaki with some steamed rice? And mm -hmm. this would be real good with that, too. Some Thai food would be great, too, because it's got that same kind of spicy mm -hmm. but flavorful yep. stuff. Again, I think a, a really good, uh, like, if you were to have this in a pub, you know, and you were to go with maybe some kind of a pub fare, like um, just any kind of a... Uh, a baked sandwich or something would be real nice, like a roast pastrami on a real nice roll or something. Mm -hmm. um, be really good too. Just something the richer types of uh, proteins in the meal, you know, yeah. and like richer, sweeter kinds of seafoods. I think would really lend well. It's so different, and the 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 strength of the uh, citrus is it's there. <laughs> So yeah, you really get you that can, character out of those hops. Yeah, it's amazing. You can really define the foods that would go great with this. So I think with awesome. it being so dry, though, it's very versatile. Yeah. So um, absolutely, like beer in the woods. Yep. Approves of this. So 